Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 4 Smuggler's Den Story Walkthrough for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. Now as you can see here, we actually get a couple of extra trophy achievements for this level. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the first movie. And as you see on the right hand side too, we actually get all 8 of the compasses, which ends up being one of our trophies. So... Booyah kashow, we will tiptoe our way into Smuggler's Den because we won't we don't want him to know we're coming. Schnarf schnarf. And uh, we'll go ahead and pick the story mode because that's the only way we know. Alright, so as mentioned, we got a couple of extra trophies. Well, what those are is wind in your sails. That is actually rewarded to you for hitting a flying parrot on Smuggler's Den. So we'll show you how to do that. We find a coconut, which happens to be one of our compass items, and we toss it right at that wascally parrot. Which happens to be a little bit tougher than one would think, at least for me. Doug laughed at me when I told him how many times I took me. He only, it only took him a couple. Same with Jeremy. Whatever. I struggle with my coconuts. Leave me alone. Uh, the next is the green flash. This is the one that you just get for playing the level. You simply watch a sunset. I don't think there's any way you can mess that up. Um, my best advice is don't touch the controller when you're watching the cutscene. Maybe that's maybe you can skip it and miss that trophy. Regardless. Or achievement. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to leave anybody out. And uh, using a spyglass is another one, so we'll get to that in a minute. And check it out, check it out. What do you want most? In any level, use only the compass to find all of the secrets in one go alone. So we're going to start right off the bat by using our compass. Well, we're going to get to it here in just one hot second after we destroy this little sandcastle that we built up. You can see there's something that needs to be dug up, but we'll get to that in a minute too. Right off the bat, we'll go ahead and use our compass. And it's very important that you use your compass to find all eight of these items. If you stumble across one or you pick up the coconut or you do anything without using your compass to find that item. If you get credit and you didn't use your compass, start the level over or try it again later because you will not get it. So make sure that you're dialing it in and going for those each and every time and making sure you walk to the X and get credit before moving on to the next one because you don't want to accidentally pick something up because it's real easy over here to pick up that bundle of wood and then move it and you actually you won't get credit for it or get the trophy achievement so anyhow keep using your compass and you can see there's the coconut that was one of the first items we found there and there is the parrot flowing around so you just use that to blast that parrot and I think it's silly that it makes me walk all the way back I was standing on where I needed to be basically but it wouldn't let me. But hey, it's worth it for the sake of the compass item being found through the compass. All right, so I'm just literally picking these off as fast as I can. There's five of the eight completed now. Still need the spade, so we'll have to figure out how we get that. You want me to tell you how? Okay, I will. Thanks for asking. We'll go ahead and use that banana, and we give it to a monkey right around the corner. So a little bit of monkey business. Like, for real, some real monkey business. And we'll get to that in a second. So we use the compass item to find that piece of wood. And you can see we actually have six of the items now that we have uh, built that up. So we still need the spade. So let's grab the banana. Nothing else to do. Or is there? No. Got to cross the water. We're not ready for that yet. So we'll go ahead and grab the banana. Come on, Jack Sparrow. Get back over there and grab that banana. Come on. All right, here we go. We're making our way. Grab it. Or not. Yep. We had to make sure. We had to make sure. So here we go. Grabbing that nana. Let's run on over around the corner. Here's the monkey. You got to chase him a little bit. You could throw it at him. It's not going to help you, though. Once you get all the way to the top of this, just jump back off of the palm tree and run around. And then he stops and he says, give me that banana. And then you give him the banana and he gives you the spade. And then we're off to play in the sand. So I will say that in the very beginning, there was a yeah, there's strike one. There was a little spot that you needed to dig on the first island, about 20 steps behind us there. Whoop, strike two. And uh, there is a mini kit in there. We chose not to get it because we want to get all the mini kits in one video. Strike three. And booyah Fourth one's a charm. Smack that fool. We'll jump around for joy. And ready, ready, booyah Wind in your sails. Trophy slash achievement. All right, so this is the only level you can do that on. So make sure that uh, you snag that while you're here. What's up there, Divine Sora? She was giving me a shout-out, letting me know that there was a sale going on in the PSN store. Some of our viewers are amazing like that and go out of their way to give us information. So, very, very awesome. We appreciate that. 
And we're going to use this shovel to just dig up whatever we can. And in this case, it happens to be multiple components of a sand castle. Build that puppy all the way up. And then we find out it's for free play. So we're going to need Marty to come back and climb through that. But we do not have him available yet. Well, and we haven't unlocked free play for this level yet. So we'll get back to that another time. All right, so here, here's uh, this is where it gets a little crazy. So we go down here and we start busting this stuff up, and we find out that there's a few sticks of dynamite. Um, we got to blow them up. And we'll do that. We'll show you how by bending some light. We're not, we're not there to the laser beam yet. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the chick to double jump. Any girl will work, but in this case, we only have Elizabeth. So we'll use her to double jump, double jump, spin around, spin to win. Oh yeah, look at that Olympic gold medalist. And once we get over around the corner, there are three skeleton, I don't know what they are, they're like shrines almost. Go ahead and bust them up. And more than likely, it'll be this third one over here. I actually have heard that it kind of depends on which order you smash them in. But one of the three will give you a wheel and pick up that wheel and it'll give you an arrow telling you right where to put that wheel. Once you get the wheel on there, spin to win and it'll bring up the bridge and you get to have your buddy Jack come over. And then we can... Keep on keeping on over here. We can smash some stuff up, but we're not ready for that yet. We don't want to. We don't want to stud whore it out yet. So we'll use Jack and his sword to open up the light above, which allows her to jump up and grab that ladder, and we can climb up above. And here goes the sunset. So, like I said, make sure that you don't press any buttons and skip this because I think that's the only way you might not get the trophy slash achievement. And all of a sudden, it becomes dark. So they better give us some sort of a reward. Oh, you can show the green flash. I was starting to doubt myself, like maybe I didn't get that. But there it was. And again, I'm pretty sure you can't miss that. I was being careful because uh, there has been known to be some mini kits at the top of trees, and I didn't want to jump up and get a mini kit and then have to revert to my save. Because again, I'm not getting any mini kits until we're playing free play. So if that's what you're here for, you might as well skip through and get to the free play videos, assuming they're up and ready for you. And here we go. We're going to use our compass. It's important you use your compass to follow it to this X if you want to get that trophy slash achievement for the compasses all in one level. All right. So here we go. You're going to follow something important, which obviously it zooms in on homie, and you just follow it. And there you go. A weather eye on the horizon trophy slash achievement simply for using the spyglass again. So there's, it seems as though there's two that they just kind of hand you on this level. I'm not sure why they didn't spread them out a little more, but hey, I'll take them. I'm sure there's some meaning that the developers could give us. Ooh, look at that. A little rum and coke, huh? All right, get her all tipsy-turvy by the fire. And with our luck, she'll fall asleep. And so will we. Not before she vogues for us, though, huh? Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. All right, so when we wake up, this is when we find out that uh, she has gone on a rampage. Obviously, she wasn't thrilled that we got her all, you know, liquored up. And she is using the light to basically blow up what is left of our stash. Not good. Not good there, Chica. All right, so you can see right off the bat, there's the light. It's kind of a, a laser beam effect, and what we're going to need to do is go down below and move some stuff around to make sure that that light hits the fuses and lights our dynamite because that'll be all right. And here we go. We got one last compass item. We'll go ahead and find that puppy, and there you can see eight of eight, and you'll know you did it. Not because you jump around like a crazy face, but because that trophy or achievement will pop up there. What do you want most? Oh, yeah. So we got that in the bag. So two of the three. Actually, sorry, psych. Four of the five. Ooh, I can't count. What's wrong with me? So, yeah, four of the five trophy slash achievements in the bag. All right, so now that we're across here, you're going to smash everything up, and you build yourself this nice little wheel. And there's a couple more things you can smash, and you build that up, and then all of a sudden, whoa, you got yourself some sort of a catapult. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Basically, we're going to use, use it to blast a wood bundle across. So you build the wood bundle up, and then we'll collect our studs and walk that bad boy over there. Set it right on there. You're going to want to do this before you crawl into the hole because of the fact that you will have to potentially run back over to this side 
because um, you do make your way back to the other side of the big ship, that is, if you're confused on what I'm talking about. The big ship being the one to the left right there. All right. All right, so that's over there, ready to be placed on the fire. And if you want, smash and grab before dropping in. We're just going to move along because, hey, we're not trying to waste too much time. And right off the bat, see, it shows us how this works. That beam blasted through that fuse and uh, burned it. So we're going to follow it and see where it goes. But let us do the hard work for you. We don't want to drop down there. Obviously, you can see some stuff chinging away down there. Shiny, shiny stuff down there. We're going to want to make sure that we get that in free play. But for now... We're just going to build this little item that will actually reflect this laser and knock down a couple of, uh, I don't know, level levers? I don't know what you want to call them. But we'll go ahead and jump on there and spin the wheel. Go ahead and spin the left one first, and we're going to try to redirect this light to the other device. And once you get it shining up towards that one, shine it so that you make that gold, I don't know, cup, cauldron, ball thing. The gold thing. Point it so it bends the light and our laser continues. So, all right, you see me doing a backflip there? That's one of the last trophy slash achievements we get is try wearing a corset, which is do five backflips in a row. And that one actually can be done anywhere, including the hub. So, it's not specific to this level. Well, most of the other ones are. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and build everything we can. Once we do that, it knocks down a little plank, which we can walk across. And then we find ourselves up here with another bundle. Along with some other stuff that might be in our free play future. Or so it would look. And once we get everything we want, we'll go ahead and grab this bundle and walk back across. And we'll place it right on that elevator, which will then take it right up top for us. Ever so conveniently. And it presents us with another gold thingy which we will need to bend the light one more time. As you can see, I've already got it aimed right in the right spot. All I have to do is put it there, and it shines right up and out of the cave. And once we get out of the cave, we can see that there's one more bundle we need to bring. And we can see that our beam is shining right where we want it to. So we'll go do a couple of backflips, or five to be exact. And as soon as we do that fifth one, we'll watch that trophy slash achievement ring off. Booyaka shout! Try wearing a corset. And to go ahead and celebrate, we'll grab this pile of wood. <laughs> and we'll take it over and put it on the fire. As you can see, there's the one we catapulted earlier. So if you didn't do that, you're going to have to run back under and go over. Over, under, under, over. And then throw it back under and then throw it on there. Right? I don't know. I'm not even making sense. As soon as you throw the last one on there, it actually cues the final cutscene for this level. And it looks like an upside down thumby. Go ahead and pause it. Go back and look. It really does. It's, an, it's almost in the exact shape of an upside down thumby. Oh, not anymore. Skull and crossbones now. That got ugly fast. Oh, and now it's a heart. Wee. Oh, boy. And we'll go ahead and we'll check this out. Oh. It's my heartthrob. Meanwhile, we got some planning going on over here. Huh? She's like, we gotta go back. He's like, nah, we are not doing that. Oh, women such as this is. Unless you're one and watching this, then then women are great. Right? That's how we roll. That's how we roll. All right, that'll go ahead and take us to the final credits here. Unlocked free play, so... That is awesome. We got Elizabeth in her undergarments, which isn't all that exciting as you might think it would be. And fell short of the true pirate again, but we will come back once we got our multipliers and knock that out. And I'm sure you, we won't even uh, we won't even have to try. It'll just happen. And a couple compass items, or all eight for that matter. Booyah Kishao. That's pretty nice. You can see it shows that we found a mini kit, but we were sneaky and we didn't dig it up. So we still got credit for it, even though we didn't dig it up. So a little fun fact for you. And like we said, we're going to go ahead and return to port and then smash and grab everything so we get money. Each time you only get like $5,000 or studs, but it's uh, it's worth it in the end. If you do it every time, you know, 19, 20 times, that's a nice little chunk of change. You do the math.
But that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego Pirates of the Caribbean Level 4 Smuggler's Den Story Walkthrough, where we showed you how to get through the level and a couple extra trophy achievements. Feel free to head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or comment, vote, subscribe down below or above, depending on where you're at or if you're on an app or what. And, uh, yeah, there's. if you want your own Lego likeness like you see there in the corner, go ahead and head on over to happythumbsgaming.com and look for our article on Lego. Uh, and Specifically, it's one of our features up top, and it's got the Lego Marvel image. So don't be fooled. Go check it out, and go check out the artist who gave us our Lego likeness off to the side there. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. So until next time. Yo-ho, yo-ho, HTG for me.